on guys TJ here with daily grind fantasy sports to bring you yes we are back with some prize picks videos super excited to talk about some NBA prize picks with you guys on this beautiful Tuesday morning um, it's actually raining here in New England but um, I did want to touch base on a couple of plays that are really standing out to me right now and, and it's really funny when I woke up this morning at around 7 a.m. There were only eight guys to choose from on the Prize Picks website, and as you can see now, they are just absolutely pouring in. As I was getting ready to make this video, um, they just continued to populate. But there are a couple of guys that I do want to talk about. But before we do that, let's go ahead and look at tonight's NBA slate. It looks like we have seven games on tap, and with that, we do obviously have some injury news that does affect some players' fantasy outcome. The first game I do want to touch base on and talk about is going to be this Phoenix and Cleveland game, and it's on the Cleveland side of the ball because we do have Darius Garland out. The next game I'm going to want to talk about quick is going to be Charlotte and Detroit. We have the Detroit news that we are still pending. Obviously, they are playing on a back-to-back -back as they did play last night, and we did see Ellington, um, Jeremy Grant, Joseph Magruder, um, Mason Plumley, all those guys sat. So if they do sit again tonight, I have some serious interest in Detroit as well. But for Charlotte, that's kind of where I want to talk about because we do have Devontae Graham who will be sitting tonight. Also, Gordon Hayward and Cody Martin out. Obviously, Hayward has been out. And then the last game is going to be Sacramento. We have De'Aaron Fox, who has been out, and Tyrese Halliburton, who has completely stepped up for Sacramento. It's a really good matchup tonight against OKC, and Halliburton is out as he did leave the last game on, what was that, Sunday night? Uh, he had to exit early, so I have some serious interest in some of those Sacramento plays as well. Super excited to break it down with you guys, but let's go ahead and start with Cleveland and Phoenix. Oh, and uh, this video brought to you by Prize Picks, Guys, the link is below if you do want to sign up. If you do sign up using code DGFANTASY, you get a $100, up to $100 match, 100% um, match as well. So go ahead, make sure you hit that link below, sign up using code DGF on prize picks. Get the bonus. Come subscribe to Patreon as well. The link is below, patreon.com slash DGFANTASY. Matt has all of his projections for every single player on the DFS slate for prize picks. Obviously, prize picks doesn't have every single guy that you might be playing in DraftKings if you're running, you know, some of your lines, but they do have a select few. As you can see, the field has been populated. I want to see if they actually have any more since I, oh, of course, it goes to MLB, but we're not focused on MLB. We are focused on NBA. Yeah, see, like, I, I don't think Marcus Morris was on here. Yeah, they, they've just been flying in, but let's go ahead. We're going to start over here with Cleveland. All right, so when you run your court IQ with Cleveland, so obviously it's a very, very, very tough matchup uh, with Phoenix coming to Cleveland here. Uh, Phoenix 13-point favorites. But if they're going to stay somewhat competitive, and that's Cleveland, I do like Colin Sexton tonight. And we're looking at Colin Sexton's uh, over-under projection right now in prize picks. It's at 35. Now, you need to take into consideration Darius Garland is out. So when we do take Garland off the floor and Hartenstein, because Hartenstein's given him some minutes, I did want to see what Sexton's production did look like. And at 8,300, they have him projected tonight for 37 minutes. He gets a 3.3% usage bump with no Garland. He's a 1.12 fantasy point per minute, almost a 33% total usage. So I have him as a 5.56 value as we stand here right now, 42.81 DraftKings points. Prize Picks has Colin Sexton at a 35 over under. Now, again, this game scares the crap out of me because Phoenix has been absolutely incredible this year. But if they can keep it competitive, I think Sexton's offense is what's going to help do that. So at a 35 over under, and I have him projected for almost 43 points, I do like the over on Colin Sexton. I understand you might be a little bullish because of the matchup, but again, if they're going to keep it competitive. I think Sexton needs to be very good offensively, very tough matchup against guys like Chris Paul and Booker for Sexton offensively, but I have him eight points higher than the prize picks projection. Give me Colin Sexton over. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the Charlotte Detroit game because again, now this is where I did get aggravated. When I went to make the video, LaMelo Ball this morning had an over under of 34. Price picks did adjust in the 45 minutes that it's taken me to get up out of out of actually get up out of bed to come and make this video. He's now at a 40. So you snooze, you lose. But even at a 40, we've seen Lamelo Ball's um, 
minute limit come up game by game. I do expect it to come up a little bit this game as well. If we go ahead and look at his log here, let's go ahead and bring up Charlotte. Lamella Ball, 28 minutes against Detroit, 30 minutes against Miami. Going up against Detroit is, uh, again with no Devonta Graham. I would think he plays and Roto has him for 33 minutes. I think 32 minutes is a really safe number. So let's go ahead and put 32 minutes here for Lamelo. So with Devonta Graham, uh, Cody Martin, and Gordon Hayward off the floor, he gets a 2.3% usage bump. He's a 1.35 fantasy point per minute, 27.3% total usage. I have him as a 6.25 value, 44 DraftKings points. Now it's a little bit closer in terms of prize picks is projection of 40, but I still do like that over if that is a competitive game, which it is slated to be. Charlotte, six and a half point road favorites. I still do like that matchup. And, you know, if some of those guys do play, like if Jeremy Grant and Plumlee play, that could only be more competitive there from Detroit. But, again, if you woke up and you got it early or you did this in the middle of the night and you saw LaMelo Ball at 34 and you took the over, tip of the cap to you. I wish I started the video when he was at 34, but even still at 40, I do think you can go the over there. And, again, my numbers do back it up. So, LaMelo Ball, boom, give me the over. Also, P.J. Washington has an over-under right now of, where are you, P.J.? Uh, 32. I have him projected for 36 and change. So if you want to take the over there, I don't hate that. Miles Bridges, as you see, 31. I have 28.44 if you want to take the under. But my play here would be LaMelo Ball and the over. And then Ter you know Terry Rozier, I have him literally projected for 37. So I'm going to stay away from that. But again, like Colin Sexton of the over, give me LaMelo Ball on the over. And then last team I want to talk about is going to be the Sacramento Kings. They weren't even on this when I started it. And then I hit refresh. I had to redo my video because Sacramento did pop up on prize picks, which I'm, I'm very thankful for because I did want to touch base on some of these guys. So we've had De'Aaron Fox out. Obviously, Tyrese Halliburton had been an absolute wagon in his presence, but he did leave the game on Sunday. He will not be playing tonight along with De'Aaron Fox. Harrison Barnes. Is Harrison Barnes in? Doubtful for tonight as well. So guys, three of the key six for Sacramento are out. You know, I'm going to throw Bagley, Holmes, and Buddy Heald into that when healthy. So that's a lot of room for some guys to step up. We do have some pretty high over-unders right now on Buddy Heald at 40. We have Holmes at 39. We have DeLon Wright at 32 and Bagley at 32. Now, Bagley might be the guy that I would be looking at here. We did get news on Sunday that Bagley would be on a minute limit, and he came out and played 34 minutes against Dallas, and I know everybody in the DFS world was very aggravated. I know we liked him going into that game against Dallas, but again, saw news that he was going to be on a minute limit, got a little bullish on him, and, and rightfully so. If he was only going to play 26 minutes, like that's not somebody you want to play. But again, if he's going to go out and play 34 minutes again in a fantastic matchup against OKC, it looks like Roto has him projected for 32 minutes. So I went with 32 as well. But when we're looking at a prize picks perspective, I would have Bagley at 34 DraftKings points. With those guys off the floor, he's a 2.9% usage bump, 1.07 fantasy point per minute. I like the over on Marvin Bagley, especially if this game is competitive. I have Buddy Heald at 39.46. I kind of want to take the over on him. But DeLon Wright, currently at 32. I also do like the over on. He should start um, in that backcourt with Buddy Heald, obviously with Fox and Halliburton out. So the two over-unders that I do like here are going to be DeLon Wright and Bagley, both on the over. As long as we see um, Bagley isn't on a minute limit or they're going to you know, tone back his minutes, seeing as he went from playing 20 in his first game back to 34, I do like the over on Bagley. I do like the over on DeLon Wright. Um, and that's where I'm at right now, guys. So all overs for me, I'm going to be in the overs club 100%. All these videos that I send out for you guys on YouTube – they're all going to be overs. I'm not going to take any unders. We got to live. We got to live. You know, we got to live the right way, guys. Life's too short to take the unders. So take the overs on Lamelo Ball, Colin Sexton, and I would say one of Delon Wright or Marvin Bagley, whoever tickles your fancy. And that's it. That's the Price Picks video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and smash that like button. And if you could, if you are not, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be pumping these out every single morning. And again. Some mornings, you might only see eight guys on the uh, on the board, depending on what time I actually get up and make the video. You might see you know, a ton of them here. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the time to go through 
and go through every single guy as much as I would. But Matt and I will be doing a live stream tonight to cover some DFS plays, obviously, like we do night in and night out. And we will definitely come back and circle back to prize picks. So if you do want a little double dip, a little more dose of prize picks plays, come stop by the live stream tonight. Make sure you turn that notification bell on so you do know when we do go live for tonight's NBA slate. And with all that being said, guys, oh, make sure you do sign up prize picks using code DGF. And if you do want some more uh, some more help in some in the DFS world, patreon.com slash DG Fantasy. Come hang out with Matt and I, all the coaches. Everybody's winning over there. We love the community that we are building. And with all that being said, guys, enjoy your day and let's cash.